Here are the top five no-code front-end tools that integrate with Xano. Here are the five tools. Number one, Adalo. Number two, AppGyver. Number three, Webflow. Number four, Bubble. And number five, Clutch. Now, as we go through these five tools, I'm going to tell you why I'm choosing these five and what would be right for you getting started with no code. Let's start first with Adalo. Adalo is a platform where you can get started very quickly, creating apps without needing to code. The reason I use Adalo is the way you can start so quickly. If you look at the showcase, you can look at the different templates. They have a wide array of templates that allow you to get started very quickly in just a few clicks. The second thing I would like to bring out, once you start using the templates, it already has the user workflow through it. So once you're logging in, it allows you to see the logic of when you're using one page, it flows to the next one. It's all laid out systematically without me needing to configure or make decisions to get this thing done. We move over to the UI and functional kits. This allows me to supercharge my app in just a few moments including custom lists, chat features, custom navigation, YouTube component, follow component, and the list goes on and on. This allows me, again, to move so much quicker in my project, and especially if I'm trying to create an MVP very quickly, this is an optimal choice to get started. And why do we care about this when it comes to Xano? Because if I'm trying to create an MVP, but then I need a powerful backend, I need to have a database that is taking in a lot of information and cut down on time with the computing power and all those things, I can be using Xano. Adalo does allow you to have their database, but Xano allows you to be a lot more robust. So it depends on what you're trying to create, but Adalo allows you to integrate Xano in just a few moments. So in the comment section, let me know, are you trying to build an MVP? What kind of no-code project are you trying to build? Next up, we have AppGyver. This is a platform where you can create professional no-code platforms, and they range from mobile, desktop, browser, TV, and others. One of the main selling points of AppGyver is you can start for free. You can even have your app all the way to $10 million in revenue before they charge you at all. Yeah, so that's pretty amazing. And just a point, I usually go to this page, it usually says up to $10 million. I see that it's free for free, free, free for free. I don't know if things have changed. I'm gonna have to do some a due diligence and look at this, but right here it used to say up to $10 million. Now it's saying Composer Pro is free for life. That's pretty interesting. Now, there are some other changes with AppGyver that are pretty new in the last couple of weeks. Before, AppGyver would allow you to have their own database in the back end. Now, they do not have that option. You have to use a third party integration with a database. Enter Xano. So keep that in mind, when we were going through AppGyver throughout the last year, you could always use their database and go through all of those things. That is now not the case. Is that why they changed the price and now they're saying it's unlimited, it's free forever? That's pretty interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. But the short answer is, if you're going to be using AppGyver, you're going to be needing to use a powerful backend we suggest using Xano. There is something to note with using AppGyver though. In comparison to other tools, AppGyver, it does not have templates in their Composer Pro 3 right now. You have to start from scratch building this out. Now, you can just use components and add things to the screen, which isn't a problem, but if you're looking at advanced or customizable um, templates or get you know that starting point, it's just not the tool for you. You're gonna have to put in a lot of work visually to get started using AppGyver. It has advantages of the pricing more powerful than other platforms, but again, the design, you're gonna to have to be starting from scratch or bring in your designs and looking at your designs that you could make in Figma and then bringing it over. That's something to keep in mind. If you're thinking about AppGyver and you have more questions, remember in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about AppGyver and what your plans are. Next up, we have Webflow. Why are we talking about Webflow? Because first of all, Webflow is powerful and I think it's a designer's best friend. Uh, think of like Photoshop and web development and put them together. And not only can you do websites, I see Webflow as web experiences. There's so many things that you can do with it. We've seen ones create marketplaces, membership sites, and the list goes on and on. And it's super fast. 
and it looks beautiful. For more information, if you want to see like the edge of what you can be doing with Webflow, check out our boy Sako from Restep and all the crazy stuff that he does with Webflow. He is just releasing something with the Lord of the Rings game. So there's something there. And yeah, so we're going to link to his portfolio and all those things. But I want you to see there's so many things you can be doing with Webflow. What is the drawbacks? What is it missing? Robust database. You have to have some kind of system like Xano to hook in to make it powerful. Again, visually, if we're looking at all of the different no-code platforms, Webflow, it's the most beautiful. Designers love it. And if you have any experience with Photoshop, it's easier to transition to use it. So there's something to keep in mind. But again, if we're going to do something with a database or we need to have access to a large amount of data that's structured in a database, you're going to be using Xano and it's perfect for this. And there's videos how you can integrate it and all of those things. So if you're a graphic designer, you're looking to create a powerful no-code platform or experience and you need a database, Xano is going to be it for you. Next up, we're going to be going to Bubble. If you've been in the no-code space or if you're new to it, you're going to see a lot of information about Bubble. It's really good. <laughs> the reason a lot of people choose Bubble is you can create a wide array of different kind of applications and sites. And from end to end, you can create a micro SaaS or a full SaaS, which is a software as a service, all the way to a website courses, the list goes on and on, and their community is ridiculous. That's why a lot of people use Bubble. So if you're going to supercharge it, if you're going to look for an option where you need a database, Xano integrates with Bubble as well. A couple people, just to keep in mind, like the different kind of projects, if you're looking at different creators like Stephen Campbell, if you're looking at Kieran, I mean, you can look at so many different ones. And we'll put a list down below in the description of different builders that use Bubble exclusively. Dan Perry, the list goes on and on. But if you need a database to make it more powerful, there you have it. Next up, we have Clutch.io. Now, Clutch is a platform where you can create prototypes to production really quick. I put this in the camp of closer to low code than a no code platform. And the reason behind it is if you are a dev or you've had some experience in programming, Clutch allows you to have a lot of these things already layered and then it makes it a lot easier. The same goes to, and I know I snuck this in, I said five, but Builder, I believe, are on the same level. If I'm going to look at someone that is looking to do very detailed work, but they do have some experience in advanced API integration or have been just simply coding, they're a developer, I'm going to go with Clutch. And Clutch allows you, again, to create something very beautiful. You can do a lot of work, but they still need a database. And you can be doing this with Clutch.io. If you check out their webinars, they have two different on-demand webinars where they're building a weather app in Clutch. And then if you look at visually create a social media app with authentication using Xano, check out the on-demand webinar. Very interesting what they're able to do. And again, the list goes on and on, but there's a lot of things you can be doing right now with clutch.io that is in more of the low code space, but you can create some awesome projects. If you have been using Clutch, if you're part of their community in Slack or wherever, let us know in the comment section down below, what are you looking for? What kind of projects are you trying to create with clutch.io? We'd love to know what's going on over there. Okay, this isn't a full thing. I know I said five, but we're going to add one other just as like a bonus. But check out what Builder is doing over there. Now, they are branded the future of development is visual. I have used this a couple times in the past. To note, it's interesting. Everyone that I've talked to that are developers, they love this platform. I have talked to quite a few no coders and they like it, but I've seen developers that are building really fast and what have they preferred? They're using Builder. And they just keep doing new projects. You can be creating uh, Google Chrome extensions as well. That's what I saw recently. Shout out to Michael Gill and all of them. There's a, quite a few things that you can be doing. SaaS platforms, the list goes on and on. I'm looking forward to seeing what Builder does in 2022. But if you're looking for a backend to integrate with Builder, Xano's the choice for you. All right. So if you have questions, if you're saying, hey, what about all these other platforms? Let us know. These are my top five 
and a half uh, choices to use Xano with a front end. If you have more, if you're using Xano with Bravo Studio, the list goes on and on. Let me know in the comment section. I would love to see what you created and why you use it. And if you like this kind of video, make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. We do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.